Hey guys, ahead of tribunal final judgment, Peter Obi and Atiku Abubaka receive shocking news as Tinubu gains upper hand. See what top lawyers declared. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a sterling revelation, the Nigerian Bar Association, M NBA, has vehemently rejected the notion of labeling President Bola Tinubu as an illegal president. The NBA's resounding stance has sent shock waves through the political landscape as they are saying that no court has invalidated his declaration by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The president of the NBA, Yakubu, delivered this groundbreaking proclamation during a high profile presentation at the 63rd Annual General Conference held in the nation's capital, Abuja. Yakubu, the authoritative figure at the helm of the Nigerian Bar Association, made it abundantly clear that Tinubu's presidential legitimacy remains unshaken. He firmly dismissed the insinuations circulating within the legal circles that cast doubt on Tinubu's presidential standing, according to Eyakubo, any claims of an illegal and unconditional presidency purportedly resulting from election petitions challenging Tinubu's win are unfounded and devoid of legal merits. The NBA's robust defense of President Tinubu's uh, status comes at a critical junction in Nigerian politics where the nation's leadership is under scrutiny. Uh, the declaration made by the INEC holds significant weight as it remains unchallenged in the courts. The association's unwavering support for Tinubu sent a clear message to those questioning his presidency. The legal protocols have been followed and the presidency is firmly within uh, these uh, graphs. As this crippling legal drama unfolds, all eyes are on the upcoming legal proceedings where the true validity of President Bola Tinubu's election will be put to, to the text. In the meantime, the Nigerian Bar Association's bold stand reverberates across the nation assuring that the debate over Tinubu's presidency will continue to captivate the collective consciousness of Nigerians and political observers alike. Yakubo said there, are, there is a provision of the Evidence Act which says that if a declaration is made by the public officer that that declaration is deemed to be right and that everything is needed to be done for that thing to happen has been done. There is nowhere you will find in any law that says because an election is being challenged, the person whose election is being challenged is holding an illegal or unconstitutional office. That is wrong. As lawyers, we have the responsibility to direct the people and not to mislead them. And let me tell you, we are very influential by reason of the position we hold because people of this country are expecting us to guide them on the provisions of the law. That is why a professor of medicine, if he has an issue with a contract, he looks for a lawyer. He may be one year at the bar because it is the lawyer that knows where the breach happens and how to provide remedy. The body of lawyers submitted that there is only one president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces in the person of President Bola Tinubu.
<laughs> so guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Meanwhile, in a recent viral video that had sent shock waves through the nation, Justice Mary Odili has delivered a stem message to those who suffered defeat in the 2023 election with a popular focus on supporters of Peter Obi. The video now circulating across various social media platforms serves as a powerful cautionary tale against a disturbing trend, the blackmailing of tribunal judges. Justice Odili has sounded the, the alarm on tactics employed by some to assert undue pressure, including the sharing of judges' family photos and resorting to public intimidation through b -boards. The 2023 elections, which saw the emergence of President Bola Tinubu as a veto, are currently under intense scrutiny. Key figures like Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar, among others, have challenged the election results through the tribunal. The backdrop shines a glary spot, uh, uh, spotlight on the enumerated pressure and scrutiny fixed by the judiciary in those political charge times. What's more, in the same video, Justice Odili took a moment to, to hear praise on Wale Olakbekun, the distinguished legal counsel representing President Bola Tinubu. She commended him for his unparalleled depth of understanding, unwavering diligence, and unparalleled as experts in handling electoral disputes. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.